Bismillah Rahman Rahim. Hi guys, in this video we are going to get the demo of the medical store management system. So here we need first once you open your project, run the debug, then you will get this window first. Here required the username and password of selected user type. So you need so you will get this username and password from database. So now open your database. So uh, go to your database. Uh, and then after that uh, medical store the table and go to the user select top 1000 rows so now that's it here i'm going to log in as a admin okay as a admin if you as a user this is the type of user type so ali user one and that is the password okay but i'm going here login as a admin so the admin is username is admin and also password is the admin okay so now i'm going to copy the admin first time i'm going to log in as admin so that is admin and also password is the admin i'm going to sign in so that's it so now you will see the um, home uh, form view of the medical store so here you see all the features uh, so we for, uh, we go through from all these features and this video so if you like please subscribe the code with of like and share so first uh, we are going to how to manage our uh, store our stock okay so this is the stock here we manage the stock and uh, two separate section the one is for the um, general product and the second is for the um, uh, antibiotics okay so here is the categories tablets syrups injection general product gillion and so on so here you can manage your categories now enter the category name and description here the description is optional and then sell if you want to edit the record select from here and click on the edit the record will be edited here is the description i'm going to update here and now click the update but the record will be updated here now see here so this is okay i'm adding here the other category also and uh, i want to add so the category is added successfully so here you can manage your product categories <clears throat> the next is the, here uh, you can add the general product to your uh, data to, to your uh, stock and medicine also so i'm first go through from the journal so in a journal you can add spo uh, honey and so on here okay so here is select your uh, general products or chilion or other and then add here you see the, the category of journal products okay the next and next this is the antibiotics here you can manage your medicines of your medical store so tablet syrup injection select the category enter the product name and then uh, use for means for what purpose this product is used this antibiotic is used and the description also and then save okay but if you want to edit someone so i'm going to write uh, i'm going to select this and then edit the record is here here is a uh, use for the temperature and the and so on if you want to write anything here so this is the uh, use for of the medicine so okay so now you see here this updated so this is here this is the form you can manage your stock medicines the next i am going to purchase some product from the supplier okay so <clears throat> the stock is uh, okay and also here this is the stock detail categories journal and medicine and this is the stock detail so now you see here we have uh, three products sp all flagel and tvx okay this is already in our uh, stock okay now you see here these uh, three items uh, uh, Kalpal, Panadol and so on but Panadol or Kalpal is not in our stock so that's so that's why here you will not get the detail of Kalpal and so this is the stock overview I'm going to purchase some products here uh, I have the Kalpal which is not in our stock so let's purchase the Kalpal so you know, go to the purchase first add here the supplier any one supplier here is i have a three supplier helton jsk and jsk ss okay i'm going to write here the supplier one and then the contact number is i'm going to enter here our support team contact number this is the address so enter address 
and description also and save so the supplier is added here then go to the purchase uh, sorry the purchase new purchase and first select your supplier okay i'm enter here the um the supplier and now search uh supplier one i think so once you search the record will be get here and then select your purchase date okay your order date here uh, i'm going to select the product so uh, here is i have a product inside i'm going to purchase the medicine so select the medicine and then click here so i'm uh, select the call pal and this is the manufacturer date of call pal so the manufacturer date is 2022 and the expiry date is 2000 uh 2025 and is the quantity i'm purchasing the 100 pieces and his purchase price is 50 and the resale price is 50 okay i'm going to add so now that is added here okay the next i am going to is the purchase okay so the next i am going to purchase the okay this one so i'm going to purchase the next uh, is select the medicine and then uh, I think uh, pledge, uh, here and our stock is a uh, pledge not the Panadol okay so I'm going to also purchase the Panadol it is uh, or uh, expiry date is this one okay and the manufacturer date is 2020 22 okay and the quantity i'm going to purchase 40 and uh, purchase price is 20 and sale price is 70 i'm going to add here okay, okay. so that's it i have uh, any discount from the supplier side so enter here so i'm going to enter here it's 200 is discount okay uh, discount is a uh, discount must be equal or less than 100 okay so this, this here is the percentage okay you will enter here the percentage discount must be equal or less than 10 percent 100 per so i'm going to hear two percent is the discount inside and here so one percent so now you see here the discount is automatically calculated this six percent if i'm going to 100 percent discount the net amount will be zero I'm going to here is the five percent discount and then finalize your purchase if you want to reset the form so now click on this button if you want to start your new purchase means you can remove all the uh, feature detail from here so now click on the new purchase and also you can reset your form here is is if you want to edit the selected record from the card purchase list item just simply click here the record will be showing here so i am going to enter here the purchase price want to update 25 and then update so now you see here the, the that is updated so if you want to delete item from him just simply click on delete selected item. item the item will be deleted from the purchase item list i'm going to finalize this so once i'm going to click here that is finalized so the purchase is automatically going to add here so now you see is pure plagial kalpal and penadal okay so 50 uh, 70 and this is the quantity of the kalpal and this is the penadal 40 and here is the item cost and here is the batch number so batch number will be automatically handled here then the batch number uh, is the unique inside in the uh, general products and the medicine so that's it the next i am going to uh, the purchase is final so i'm going to supplier payments so here we are going to pay the payment of the uh, su supplier purchase so there is supplier one i'm going to select supplier one and search so now see here the record is fully loaded here now see here this is the purchase which is we done and today 22 march and 2023 so i'm going to select this and then uh, here is the payment detail so i'm going to enter here the payment which is the uh, 330 uh, 3 300 so i'm going to here is the 3000 and uh, the, the total amount is the discount so, so 135 is remaining here so i'm going to pay currently this and this is by hand i am paid this payment to by hand so once i'm going to click here the payment will be succeed here and the remaining payment is 135 of this current purchase so i'm going to enter again 135 also on today date and also this also by hand okay yeah by bank transfer So now that is done here also.
okay so that is done so now you can also check here the description of your payments means the pay payment where you payment the to supplier so that is done here so this is the way of how you can pay the payment of the supplier the so the purchase section is finished here is the purchase return if you want to return the purchase of the supplier means any issue inside in the product so you can simply right click here and purchase return so are you sure you want to return the selected uh, purchase uh, record so if you click here the record will be returned automatically if you want to return some product from here means the, the product return successfully so this product is automatically returned so if you click on the stock here the record is removed automatically okay the call call is remaining and penadol is not here so this is the way of how you can uh, return your products okay so i'm going to supplier here okay that's it so now on on our supplier my payment is a 2500 so once i am purchase the next product from my uh, uh, here is the total move 5635 and i pay three one four four three of three five but this amount is a total of with return so this is the payment amount and is the remaining balance on on my supplier okay so once i am getting the uh, more purchase from supplier the payment will be automatically removed so if you want to return the payment uh, not not the payment will be not returned here okay so that is it so now the next we are going to on sale side so this is the sale if you want to start the new sale so this is the new sale so first enter the patient name for example patient name is salman and then the doctor name is ali and the sale that is this and i'm going to sell on patient legal And this is the quantity I'm going to sell 20 and sell unit price is here you see this is the 12 quantity and 12 unit price okay so I'm going to enter here the 34 and add so that's set okay I'm going to finalize if you any discount to 2% I'm going to finalize the sale is okay okay so I'm going to sell section the sale is uh, New cell, okay. New cell, the cell return and cell report. I'm going to first close this. Okay, so my cell is here is finalized mm. and return the cell return and purchase return. So you can see also the patient name and doctor name. This is the this is the supplier okay okay so this is the cell report here i'm going to getting the record from database so now the record is getting okay i have get issue okay the issue let me Here is the expiry product list also here so this is our return section this is a sale section and how you can sell product this is the return of i am getting here salman is our patient and doctor is ali and in search so you see the record also here so if you want to return your sale you can also select the record and return uh, the next we are going to show the expiry record okay expiry also you will see here yeah well, i'm going to close this once you click on expiry then you will get here uh, the next we are going to manage our employees here that how you can manage our employees inside in medical store her salaries date of joining her genders contact number employee name and also the address and this is the configuration where you can create the user for the employee so first you need to create the the employee select the employee new username 
then create the password and so on and create the user okay so here is the user section and this is the uh, company profile means enter your medical store detail here and the next is uh, this is the expiry product report and also there is many report list of medicines list of journals all sales all purchase custom purchase uh, report and custom sale reports and so on you can get here okay so this is the short demo of the medical stores that how it's work and how you can manage your medical store inside in this application so if you like the video please subscribe to kudilia soft like and share